Hi guys, welcome to the Yoga with Nunga channel. I am Nunga. So today I've decided to bring the set outside, the beautiful outdoors, with a beautiful yoga for love flow. So gear up and let's do it. So we'll begin at the top of the mat and it's a bit chilly so I'm still going to hold on to my shawl. So um, at this point I'd like to tell you that you can begin this particular sequence, the initial part of this video, our yoga for love today, seated on a chair, alright, there's a kakwa kitty, because we're going to take a bit of time here, creating something beautiful, um, so get a chair, alright, so I decided to bring a chair on set, <laughs> to just show you how you can sit nice and yogically <laughs> so just um, maybe first of all sit at the edge of the mat for those of us who can do this sit at the edge of the mat your feet will come to 45 degrees your spine is nice and long and your hands comfortably resting on your thighs all right or come out uh, if you'll get tired quickly or get uncomfortable maybe lie on your seat but make sure your spine is nice and long again your feet are active and well planted on the mat right for the for this initial part get comfortable all right all right so that's for the person or anyone who decides to take a chair so be as comfortable as you'd like here for those of us who are standing check in with your foundation spreading your toes wide Maybe we lift the ten toes up, then release them down, spreading them as wide <laughs> as we can. Then check in with the heels. Maybe lift one heel up, followed by the other. And then we're not slouching, or rather stand actively. Maybe lift the shoulders up towards the ears, release them down. And just soften, soften, get comfortable. So... I'd like to give a brief, just a slight brief um, sort of story or inspiration of why I decided to do the Yoga for Love as one of the very first videos of the Yoga with Nunga channel. Um, so I wanted us to, or I wanted to hopefully create the culture of the class which is to be mindful and loving to ourselves, to actually love ourselves, to do the deed, to love ourselves as the verb. All right, so that means maybe in the narratives that we tell ourselves, you know, as we do yoga, maybe you fall out of a, pra of a pose, Lafu, you know, you start telling yourself, oh, or you just start feeling negative about it. So I just wanted to, bring this out there make this a culture to love ourselves to be mindful to be more present and also with the breath the breath is the spirit so we don't come to yoga and breathe because that's what we're supposed to do no we come to breathe because we want to connect with our source with our love and you know with with everything and to make the body feel good all right, so yeah, that is the brief history <laughs> of our yoga for love today. So let's, so let's begin mindfully, lovingly. All right, so release your hands. <laughs> I'm fidgeting a lot. Just release your hands down beside your hips. Maybe you bring them to touch at your hips or your thighs. <clears throat> Again, we're softening through the shoulders. We're spreading the feet, feet open to hip distance apart. If you're on the chair, be as comfortable as you'd like. For those of us who are standing, for, actually for everyone, bring your hands to your heart center. All right, Anjali Mudra. And today's class is actually going to be quite, 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 quite beautiful and intentional. And actually a very soft class. So our hands are at Anjali Mudra. Maybe you can bring your hands 
to heart center like this, then maybe begin to listen to your heartbeat. Connect with your heart. Connect with the core of love that is deep within. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. So remember you can have your hands at Anjali Mudra. You can, so this can be active. So you're pressing the palms away, activating the elbows or just soften. Or this, whichever you'd like. Maybe we close our eyes if we haven't already. We relax, we are soft. And keep that awareness, even as you breathe normally, that you're connecting with your spirit, with your soul, you know, with love that is within. So, um, yoga for love, there's the awareness of the heart chakra, right? So it's something, it's, it's one of the um, languages of yoga or of spirituality, of just the body. So the energy centers and we'll be focusing on opening our hearts today. Shining the hearts towards maybe the sky, the ceiling and allowing the flow of energy, you know, from the heart to the body, to people, to the earth. So breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. So, I want to bring the attention to self love today as well. What my friend told me about self love is that maybe it is the self feeling the deeper love that is within that is unconditional you know my dear friend planted that in my heart and i decided okay yoga for love let's do that so that the love is deep within not without all right breathe in breathe out and soften Breathe in, breathe out. Check in with your foundation. Again, bring your consciousness to your heartbeat, to your heart. So the heart chakra is associated with the color green. The color green. So it's just the energy center that is in our heart area for love, for expression, you know, even gratitude. So as you listen to your heart beating on your hand, on your palm, I want you to also f sort of visualize some green lights at the heart area, leaving the body flowing, so maybe feel it coming to the third eye. So it is coming out of the body to the third eye, to the crown of the head and back, the shoulders, the shoulder blades, the spine, the glutes, the thighs, the calves, the feet, our foundation. Then bringing it back up to the knees, the thighs, the hips, the belly and the heart center. So there's sort of a spiral of energy in and out, in and out, and feeling it overflowing and engulfing your whole body, your whole aura, right? Uh, your aura is this, this wide. So maybe we sort of make this, the flow of energy, the green light, bigger as we go. Breathe in. 
breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Right, so we are feeling the we're feeling the energy. We're feeling the love that is within. The gratitude. The peace even that arises with this. And this is how we are most of the times. It's just that perhaps we forget to feel it and feel like we need to you know seek it without or somewhere that is not in us. You know, other things, other people. So today we just want to fill our cups and remember that. Remember the truth. Breathe in and breathe out. So now we want us to feel this green light and visualize this green or pink light. And that's why the set is pink today and I have a pink shirt, light pink. So you can go for um, green light or light pink light. So we're feeling the spread of this energy, the spread of love, maybe in our car room, in our sitting room, in you know, wherever we're doing this practice in, we're feeling the love spreading from, it's like diffusion spreading from the highest concentration to maybe a lower concentration. Maybe even it goes to a room next to us, maybe our brothers, our sisters, father, dad, dad, mom, show, show. <laughs> so just feel the energy spreading from you. We are emptying our cups. Our cup is full and now we are em emptying it consciously. Maybe even healing, because love heals. Whatever expression you'd like for the love that you're spreading. Maybe you, as you are aware of whoever is in the house, maybe you say, I love you, you know. I love you, mom, my G. <laughs> and maybe the neighbor. You can even explain it to a stranger. Maybe I come to someone who's just walking outside the house. You can't see them, but maybe there's someone and the love that we are spreading will touch them and heal them or make them happy. They'll have a good day, right? We're spreading the love. And then breathe in, breathe out. Your eyes are still closed. So now I want us to bring someone into our attention, whoever you'd like to bring out, a partner, a sibling, Specifically, I wrote down anyone who is sad, depressed, you know, any mental illness. We bring their face or even their whole being before us. So we're visualizing their presence before us and we're feeling them before us. And we're touching them with our love. So we're sort of praying here because we're concentrating our thoughts on this particular person. And not just concentrating this person, we want to spread the love that is filling our cup to them as well. So we are feeling them just lighten. Maybe the green light overwhelms the whole aura, the whole being. And whatever difference it will make, just feel a sort of peace or ease settle in them and as well as in you. Breathe out. So surrender to the energy. Leave them with peace, with love. And just let them be and let yourself be. If you're getting tired here, it's okay to come to cross legged or to a seat. Maybe just shake the legs, bend in one knee at a time have one last love spreading to do and this is to the earth so breathe in and breathe out so the earth before us now just picturing the earth however you think it looks and 
the love that is overflowing from us as healers and as gods we feel we visualize the earth the ball of earth before us and we just send love from our crown and even from our foundation our feet to the earth to everything that is around us to the earth that provides for us and also the earth that bleeds you know the global warming poaching we just send the love we send the peace we empty our cups and fill this pink light this green light cover the whole earth and this is all vibrational and energetic but it doesn't have to be if you you know don't think it is but just maybe just say a prayer of love to the earth to everyone you know that everyone will be blessed bless the earth all the animals all the plants you know your favorite flower <laughs> all around the world breathe in and breathe out breathe in breathe out breathe in and breathe out and as we end this beautiful initial part of our video we surrender we release everything we let go knowing that our love will touch someone something the earth and cause a difference whatever it might be and even to ourselves i mean at times we do forget right but you can come back to this video as many times as you'd like for healing for blessing for remembering for brilliance because we are brilliant beings and you know we are radiating with light and love right now so now we'll begin the physical <laughs> aspect of our practice i think i'll release my shawl so maybe if you're seated it's just remain on your seat spread your feet feel the connection with your foundation breathe in breathe out i know that whatever happens happens i'm here for you inhale arms up exhale namaste inhale palms face the sky and exhale down anjali mudra last one inhale and exhaled so we're standing nice and tall maybe you're smiling because we just did something wonderful your heart is smiling as well check in with your foundation open your feet to hip distance apart lift the ten toes up release down spread the toes lift the heels up and release down connect with all four corners of the foot inhale gaze up towards the palms exhale as we bend forward fold and remember you're listening to your body that is a love in act listening to your body perhaps your hamstrings are a bit oh tight <laughs> so just if you're here on forward fold that's fine because we are starting where we are All right. We are starting where we are. We are being nice to ourselves, loving to ourselves. So you're here forward fold, halfway lift, palms underneath the knees or on top of the thighs or just dangling or with the support of our book. Neck is nice and long. Then bend the knees, take the palms down. We'll take the right foot back. All right? Right foot back. Maybe we check in as we go forward. and back then take the knee down the right knee down tops of the feet down or tuck in the toe so we'll come to low lunge so i have my books here 
So if you have blocks, cool. If you have books, cooler. <laughs> Higher. So we're maybe supporting ourselves here like this. So bringing the bringing the books down as support to lift the floor higher or if you'd like we can open the arms up towards the sky open the chest shine the heart towards the sky or forward inhale exhale inhale exhale bring the hands palms down tuck the toe at the back lift the knee then bring the foot to meet the other foot so we take it to the other side left leg goes back knee down books then as, as you use the books maybe you open the chest more towards the front or hands come up low lunge if the knee is problematic you can put a blanket a pillow or double up on your mat or carpet just put something to support the knee then open the chest maybe this time come to cactus arms so our arms would be like this and we're opening the chest more towards the sky inhale exhale inhale exhale palms down lift the knee and bring the foot to meet the other foot halfway lift look forward shine the heart forward release forward fold zombie lift come up take your time neck and head the last thing when you get to the top don't move too much just check in with the body soften through the full body right let me get the books the books out of the way all right check in with your foundation inhale exhale forward fold Halfway lift, look forward, bend the knees, high plank. Check in with the core, engage the core in towards the spine. Take the knees down, maybe chaturanga or belly to cobra. So belly to cobra, chaturanga is this, upward dog. Inhale, and exhale, downward facing dog. Check in with the knees, check in with the dog, maybe side stretch. Or just explore your body at down dog. <laughs> explore, have fun, take your dog on a walk. Check in with the toes as well, maybe pressing one, pressing all toes in, and the other toes. <sighs> Inhale, exhale, come to high plank, stay here for five, four, three, two, one, knees down, we'll come to line on our backs, yes, but before that, before that guys, we want to work on the core right find that stability balance through the whole body so bring your hands under your hamstrings heels are down all right lift one foot up so bring the calf to be parallel with the mat the carpet you know whatever you're doing this on i find your balance bring the other foot up boat pose <laughs> so maybe you just stay here for that extra support or you extend the hands forward all right maybe you take your book and be extra <laughs> and bougie 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 maybe you're reading a book we'll stay here for 10 seconds so whatever variation one two maybe even three or a book all right i'll start counting out ten nine feel the shake eight breathe seven six five four three two one and gently release 
lie on your back. Oh la la. Oh, the sky looks so beautiful. <sighs> All right. So we want to do fish pose. Fish, fish, fish pose. So just do this if you feel comfortable. Maybe watch me first, then you can try. Pause the video, then try. So we want to bring the elbows to support us. For arms down on the mat, all right? So we are taking the taking the crown of the head all the way back, all right? So see my joining back to fish pose. So bringing the crown of the head down on the mat so gaze at your toes first bring the crown to the back and maybe we don't get there at first so move your shoulders a bit to the front and allow your, your, your the crown of your head to rest on the mat this is an amazing heart opener maybe you're thinking of spreading energy more here you're radiating love you're conscious of your body. Inhale. Exhale. We slowly, with the support of our forearms and the elbows, we lift the head, the crown, gaze at the toes, then release, come to line on the back. Wonderful. Oh. So lift the right foot up, grab the knee, then maybe grab, straighten the leg, or just see how straight you can bring the leg, then maybe pat, pat the hamstrings, yeah, <laughs> higher. So I have a belt here with me, mm. Ooh, like a sexy belt, <laughs> so we want to do a hamstring stretch. So. If you have a strap, a tie, a belt, you can use that here. So maybe bring the belt underneath the foot, at the soles of the foot, or maybe bring it here. You know, whichever feels comfortable for you. So we're trying to straighten the leg, but it's okay to have that softening of the knee a bit. So we're trying to bring the knee closer to the body. So a variation, my leg is already, <laughs> getting out of the mat maybe bend the knee like so then again we're pushing pressing the foot towards the face <laughs> Jeffrey <laughs> check chicken young cup my chicken is here uh, inhale exhale and press more. Exhale. So I'm noticing that my glute in a my glute is lifting up. Let's see if we can ground down more. Right? So allow the glute to just stay down on the mat. Bring that consciousness with compassion. So at to begin at to compassionate awareness, then also alignment. So like, oh my glute was lifting. Ooh. Let me bring it back down. So, uh, be soft. Like I said, today's class is soft, stretchy, fun. Inhale. Exhale. Release the foot. Give it a shake. Come on, we put a muscle pull. If there's a muscle pull, just shake it slightly. <laughs> then release it down. We take the other leg, bring your strap, your belt, your tie, and at the foot, at the ankle, you know, calf, whatever feels comfortable. Then come, I, if your hamstring is like, wah, <laughs> wah, bend the knee, all right? And remember, ground the, ground the glute down on the mat. Then pre ooh, ouch, press, <laughs> inhale. Exhale, maybe close your eyes as you press. Inhale. Exhale, remember your glute. Inhale. Press more and 
exhale, release. Give the give both legs a shake. Release any tensions. All right, bring the right knee over the left. Then we'll lower the legs to the left side. Then we'll bring the left hand over the right thigh. Then turn the gaze to the other side. Twist, twist, Jeffrey. your consciousness to your body maybe you, you're zen in you beginning to zen out or you've been zen out eh, out send send out since the beginning I, I actually got zen out in the beginning when you started feeling the green light I am so grateful so so grateful Inhale. So release the legs back to center. Then switch. Bring the other knee on top. Take it to the other side. And twist. twist. Maybe close your eyes. Take a moment. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale and release. So bring the knees in towards the chest. Give yourself a nice hug. Lift the head off the mat. Cozy in with your knees. Give yourself a nice hug. Maybe kiss your knees. Your shoulders telling yourself thank you <laughs> thank you and also i tell you thank you you powerful magnificent brilliant human being for spreading love out to the world with me today release the head shavasana so here cover yourself with a blanket uncovering because it's quite cold <laughs> out here one last one last green light um, filling our cups empty our cups filling the lights from our chest spreading through covering our whole body and we are grateful Grateful, we are overwhelmed with love, and what we did, I call it the beautifying effect or technique, where you just spread love to anyone and everyone in the art, or even the twin hearts meditation. <laughs> so we fill our cup, we empty and fill our cup, we empty and fill our cup. We tell God or whatever, thank you. We tell ourselves, thank you. All right, so thank you so much. Have a lovely rest of your day, night, and Namaste.